Welcome to another edition of Alternative to Physics Practical. As you can see, there is a model question on electricity, a solenoid connected in series, and a voltmeter connected across an AC cell there. Okay, we have to take different readings of the voltmeter and the ammeter. Now, five different values of this voltmeter and ammeter has been taken and recorded and modeled in terms of diagram. As you know, it's alternative to physics practical, you don't carry out the practical. The practical has been modeled in terms of diagrams. Now, the readings of the voltmeter and the and ammeter is presented in the diagram here. This is the ammeter reading, okay? As you can see, the scale, this is the ammeter reading, and this is the voltmeter reading. Study the scale carefully for the ammeter reading. You will notice that between zero and the first number one, there are 10 division. That makes it one over 10. That is 0 0.1 ampere. Similarly, if you look at um, the voltmeter, between zero and the first number there, okay, which is 10, there are 10 division. I mean, the difference between 10 and zero is 10. So that, that will be 10 divided by 10. That makes it one volt. Each division here is one volt. Why each division on the ammeter reading is what? 0 0.1. The ammeter measures the current, the, the voltmeter measures the potential difference, the voltage. Now, look at the question. Read and record the value I of the current. Read and record the corresponding value V of the voltage. Evaluate the reciprocal of current and the reciprocal, the reciprocal of the voltage in each case. Then before you tabul tabulate your reading. That means we'll be having four parameters. The current, the voltage, the reciprocal of the current, and the reciprocal of what? The voltage. So our table will carry these four parameters. So that means we have four columns. So we'll make it five. The first column will be for serial number. That is number of experiment. Now, one, two, three, four. I one, I two, I three, I four, I five. V one, V two, V three, V four, V five. Means that the experiment was carried out five different times. And as we model this way, so let's go ahead to measure it. Now this is the first value. Now I've created a table here. As you can see, the table here. As you can see, the table. Okay, the serial number here, current voltage. Um, reciprocal of current and that of reciprocal of voltage. Now let's go ahead to take the reading. For the ammeter reading as for current, the first value here, you notice I told you division is 0 0.1, this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and this first reading is between 0 0.1 and, sorry, 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. Then let's just give it 0 0.25. So we're going to record 0 0.25. Now, I2, this is 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Between 0 0.7 and 0 0.8, so we give it 0 0.75. Then number three, Okay, this is one already, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, we give it 1.30. Then number four, okay, this is 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.80. .8, then the last one directly on 2.5, you can see this is two, level five, 2.1, 2.2, 2 2.4, and 2.5. Now, we go to the voltmeter. Now, if you look at the voltmeter carefully, okay, you notice that the first one here, each division here is one. So this is one, this is two. So that means I have 2.0, then V2, Okay, this is 5.6 now, I have 6.0. All right, V3 is directly on 10, so I have 10.0. V4 is this 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, that will be 14.0. And then lastly, directly on 20, V5, that is 20.0. Now we'll go ahead to do the reciprocal. Reciprocal means one over anything. So which means all the value of current, we find the reciprocal by saying, finding one over all the values of current, one over all the values of of voltage. You just go ahead to do it this way. You can use your calculator, okay, by saying 0 0.25 reciprocal. That gives us 4. So we could say 4.00. In case you don't want to do that, it means 1 divided by 0 0.25. We get the same. That's the meaning, okay? But you can actually do it on your calculator. Of course, you can as well do for voltage. If I want to find reciprocal voltage, now that will be 2 reciprocal. That will give us 0. 0 0.50 is the same thing as saying one divided by two. You get that, okay? That's the meaning of reciprocal. All right, this is the complete table now. We have found the reciprocal of the current and that of the voltage. All right, now let's go back to the questions, okay? Now look at the question. The question says, um, tabulate your reading. We have done that. Plot the graph of reciprocal voltage on the vertical as a reciprocal current on the horizontal as and determine the slope. So we go ahead to plot the graph of reciprocal V and that of the current I. So the next is to go and plot the graph now. So let's look at how the graph is.